one's good. Four makes on four tries. Everything's falling early. 100% can't do better than that. The Heat shooting their first free throw. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. The Heat have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. So timeout called here. The first a steal count. Turn it into a Tony quick slam Money. at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there. If I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great. In their third free throw shot of the game. There you go. That's how the Heat have performed. Fourth and fewest turnovers per game. Tenth and steal. Good. He'll go That's to the line. So Portland ends up going with the new group. For Miami, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. And the free throw, no good. You want to keep that balance. And attacking inside creates space for shooters. And having shooters creates opportunities inside. So it works hand in glove. The Heat shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two. The first free throw is good. Good on both. That's a great I don't job. Know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. And we are not going to halftime just yet. Officials signaling they are going to review the tape. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus. I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. But to me, it's worth being certain. And that's why we have replay to get these big calls right. Basket's good. And they've overturned the call. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. And, Kevin, an example of why it's good to have replay. I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final result, but you always want them to get every call right. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. It's the Heat delivering the blowout. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. We've been uh, watching a pretty lopsided game through the first half. That's for sure. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined again by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was all about Miami as the game got going. They had the pieces in place for a nice stretch to open it up and went on a 7-0 run to start. They delivered a real beatdown in the first quarter, ending with a whopping lead. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play, help them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? They've done a lot of things well, but the way they've taken care of the basketball, valuing each possession so critical to the tempo, so crucial to the offensive flow. They've got a great rhythm, as smart and as safe as they're playing. They made it clear they're not going to beat themselves today. Looking at Portland, Shaq, your thoughts. Well, they run into a very hot shooting team tonight, fellas. And you combine a hot shooting team with the weak defense they've been playing, you're going to get crushed. I hope Coach is coming down hard on them right now because they can't keep giving up so many open looks. What are you doing? And that's going to do it for now as the second half is almost ready to get started. Back to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. We're going to sit right here and wait for the end of the game and talk at you again. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. The first one falls.
He hits both from the stripe. That's his first personal foul. The Heat have been coming through at the charity stripe. They've made seven of their eight attempts. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Down over the top, but instead he'll shoot free throws. And he makes the first. So he gets them both. That's his first personal foul. Torres. Two. And he makes the first. A different look now for Portland. Dragic has checked in, and Drew subbed in for Bryant. And so he makes both from the line. Adkins. That's his second personal foul. Runchin. Two. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. I think that's the perfect time to do it, Greg. I mean, those few seconds after the turnover, strike right away because the defense has no chance to get organized. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. They poured it on tonight, Clark, a dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything but positives to take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game, it all went right for them. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. Now we'll go to the studio with the award-winning Ernie Johnson. The 2K Sports post-game show. Ernie Johnson again, folks, alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Time now to take a quick peek at our Jordan player of the game. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. His accuracy from the field was pretty eye-catching. I mean, if he was shooting the ball, it was going in. You rarely see a performance like this with this crazy high shooting percentage. Wow. He was completely on a different level tonight, and his insane point total tells us that. Trust me, it's not easy to get that many points in this league. But he had their number tonight, and the coach did a great job of continuing running plays for him. And, folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.